Under eye bags treatment, 21 years old. Only known medical concern is low iron levels. I have, for as long as I can remember, had dark circles and puffy under eyes. I know about diet, water, consistent sleep, etc. Looking for other solutions. Thank you for your question. You've submitted several photos from multiple angles of your eye area and you stay in your question, you're 21 years old, you're aware of a low iron level and you're well aware of other variables that can be contributing to under eye bags and you're looking for some guidance as to what to do. Well, I can certainly help with you, uh, help you understand what my impression is based on the photos you submitted. A little bit of background, I'm a board certified cosmetic surgeon and fellowship trained oculofacial plastic and reconstructive surgeon. I've been in practice in Manhattan and Long Island for over 20 years and helping people with under eye aesthetics has been a significant part of my practice uh, for decades and we offer a wide variety of solutions and but it's very important to first understand anatomy before you start looking at solutions. So to begin with, what is it that we see when we look at the photos? Well, the photos, my impression is, is that you have what's called lower eyelid fat prolapse. Lower eyelid fat prolapse is essentially an anatomic description of the fat pockets that are specifically around your eye that have pushed forward and created this puffiness under the eyes. Now, part of the irony of this situation is a lot of times people don't notice the puffiness but are bothered by what they perceive is a hollow. And this hollow is the area adjacent to the puffiness referred to often as the tear trough and the orbital rim area. So when it comes to solutions, you're essentially looking at two different perspectives. One is to try to blend the appearance of the puffiness by adding volume in the area of the tear trough and the other is to reduce the puffiness by addressing it uh, in a way so that the puffiness is no longer present. So generally speaking it's really a matter of proper physical examination and making a decision as to what you're comfortable with. When it comes to the first more conservative option, the use of an injectable filler such as in the hyaluronic acid family such as Restylane is something we do routinely. We'll place Restylane into this area called the tear trough and it can really do a nice job of camouflaging and blending the interface between the puffy under eye bag and the adjacent area thereby creating a more of an even contour. Interestingly, although Restylane typically would last only about six months in other areas, it is not unusual for this filler to actually last longer in this area. Now, it's what's, well, the appeal to something like this as a strategy is, of course, that it is minimally invasive. It's done in, a, in an office setting, a little bit of local anesthetic, and the technique that I employ actually uses um, something called blunt cannulas where I place this filler as minimally traumatic with the lowest risk, in my opinion, of bruising in comparison to direct injection. Now that is one plan and one option. The second plan or option would be to do a procedure called a transconjunctival blepharoplasty. In someone who is relatively young who has lower eyelid fat prolapse, it is my approach to always do this procedure from the inside of the eyelid. Of course, you don't always say always, but essentially the probability is doing it from the inside, basically avoiding any external incisions um, as well as avoiding, of course, stitches. And so by doing this from the inside, we're actually able to sculpt the fat and reduce it in a way so that it contours the skin such that it would appear as if you never had the fat pockets there. Now a lot of times people who are relatively young like yourself 
are very hesitant to do anything because they feel they're too young to do something. And certainly that's an understandable perspective. I can tell you that my youngest patient for under eye bags, which were of course considerably larger than yours, was a young man who was only 14 years old. So it's not necessarily an age issue, but thanks to the different options as I described where fillers can maybe be a good way to address the cosmetic appearance until you are ready to do something else or it may be something that you're able to do for years depending on how, more, how much more prominent the under eye puffiness becomes depending on your genetics as well as environmental factors. So I'd say meet with qualified experienced cosmetic surgeons who do both injectable fillers as well as surgery and have a lot of experience in the under eye area and you may want to just take the first small step of trying a filler and hopefully that will be adequate for you but of course in a, in, there's a difference between looking at a photo and seeing someone in person. No matter how good the photos are, the photos are not a three-dimensional representation as an, as an in life uh, or live um, examination. And so once that is done, the doctor is able to make a more informed assessment for you and give you the, gui the guidance that uh, is appropriate. So I hope that was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you for your question.